Ah, good old Radiant Gardens. Good times, good times. We're not here for sightseeing, number two. We are here to gather hearts. Ooh, well, maybe a little sightseeing would be okay. Check out that hot brunette down there. The one in the ass belts or the one in the pretty boat? Hmm, I was thinking both. Look, the superior told us to work together for once for this mission. Cooperation makes it happen, Neo 50 dudes. Since when have we ever had a unanimous opinion in this cockamamie organization? It. What in the what what? <sighs> Since when have we ever agreed on anything? Did you forget about when we gave Repliku his name? Then I put on my fuzzy bunny slippers, turned on one of my Michael Bolton mixtapes, and read Daniel Steele until I passed out on the couch. When I woke up, I pulled my head out of the television and came here. And that's what I did today. That was fascinating, sir. Now does anyone have any new business? I want to take a nap. Lanny, the... I what? did have new business, but I got ignored and now it's old. Take off your shirt. I have something to discuss. Vexen, put your test tube baby back in its place. I have a valid complaint. I want a new name. I don't like being reminded that I'm Riku's replica every time I have to make one of you a sandwich. I can dig that. Plus, five syllables is kind of a mouthful when your state of consciousness is altered. So, I have drawn up a list of several suitable replacement names. Personally, I like Kurai. It's an anagram of Riku plus the letter A and means dark. Apparently, no one has informed you about how you get new names here. Hey, Soups. Time to bring out the old wheel of naming. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. The, uh, sparkly letter thing. There. The new you. Repliku? What kind of a name is that? I like it. It's fun to say. Repliku, Repliku, Repliku. Stop that! All in favor of calling the boy in the skirt and bondage outfit Repliku. I. I. I... All posed. Yes, me! Motion carried. Wow, that actually worked for once. <laughs> Oh, you're stuck with it now, boy. But, but, <laughs> go fry me a cheesecake, bitch. <laughs> that now. So, now will you behave and play nice? Mm, yeah. So, it's story time now? Because I have a story! We're supposed to be harvesting hearts. We don't have time for this nonsense. Well, I want to hear your story, <sighs> Demi, darling. Okay, well, Zigbar was there. Yeah, and he was all like, Cowabunga Bonsai, Pipeline, Beach Bunny, Beaver Tail, Neptune, Cocktail, Hot Dog, and Wet And that was... Awesome! And suddenly a massive unicorn made of mashed potatoes and dreams came and we climbed on its back. And it took us to the Sugar Magnolia. Commune. Yeah. Where I met Jerry Garcia and Jefferson Starship. <laughs> and we dined on Mother Love Girl. And then their innocent and flatulent lifestyle was threatened when Godzilla. Godzilla? No, Godzilla. That's what the backwards Mandarin subtitle said. And yeah, so Gojira, with his massive comical spree of radiation with plus three shadow damage, starts attacking the hippies. So I start strumming my sitar, and with the power of rock granted me to by the old gods of the Norse, I turned Gojira into a big rock candy mountain, and then we ate him. Did that really happen? Nah, the kid wolfed down a whole vat of cotton candy and then ran outside naked for about an hour, fighting Gojira! I didn't really get it, but you can't expect me to ruin a killer trip like that. We're wasting valuable time with this rubbish. Did someone say time? <laughs> don't sneak up on me like that. Then don't let your guard down, boy. And if you are so concerned about time, my dear Mr. Seven, Perhaps I should join your ragtag crew, 
and save you a great deal of trouble. And what exactly are you planning, Luxy? Perhaps we should pop in on the past, back to when this place was a festering hive of Heartless, so as to make our assignment easier. Isn't that dangerous? I mean, have we learned nothing from René Bargevel's theories regarding time paradoxes? Pardon me, but as the master of time, I think I've read Bargevel. And furthermore, the Novikov self-consistency principle allows for backwards time travel without invoking the grandfather paradox. Ow, my brain. Basically, there is nothing to fear in time traveling to the past. In fact, sometimes it proves rather useful. Quick, what is today's date? March 26th. How many times do we have to tell you? Gregorian calendar! Gregorian calendar! It's April 8th. I was under the impression it was star day 315732.5050. It's Pudgeon Day, Discord 25, in the year of Our Lady of Discord 3173. Right then. I've come from the future to give you a warning. Oh? What happened this time? Did the Keyblade Warder come for me in the middle of the night? No. You will go on a mission to Down Under. Whatever you do, do not fraternize with Priscilla. There will be the allure of elaborate showgirl costumes and dance music, but you will only end up confused, then embarrassed, and finally with a burning sensation. Right, I'll try to remember that. By the by, how did the poker tournament work out? Smashing. On the third hand, feel free to raise the ante because Oogie Boogie will be bluffing like nobody's business. Right, so... Who wants to play time travel hooky? Yay, Woo! time travel! Do we get to sit in the cardboard Let's box? Let's go play hooky, Killer. <sighs> All of you can kiss my grits. I'm gonna go kill Heartless. <sighs> Who wants front row seats to the Battle of Firmapath? Yes! Woo! Alright! For Sparta! 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 Sparta!